In this video, I'm going to share with you the essential elements to include in a multiple sclerosis survival kit. I'm talking about a bag that you'd pack to be away from home for a day. Whether that be a car outing, or a day excursion, or a shopping excursion, what do you want to pack in a bag so that you're ready for whatever might happen? Stay tuned because I'm going to share the essential elements to an MS survival kit starting right now. Howdy! Learn about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits. And it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. Today's topic is an MS survival kit. What you would want to pack in a small tote bag if you're going to spend the day away from home. You see, I spend my career sitting across from people impacted by multiple sclerosis. And they share with me some of the absolute coolest life hacks. This video is a compilation of several different life hacks that people with MS have shared in what I'm gonna call an MS survival kit. So let's talk about the bag that you wanna pack when you spend the day away from home. Item number one is a piece of paper with important phone numbers. I'm talking about writing down your pharmacy number, uh, an emergency contact number, and the number to the MS clinic. I would like you to have that stuff on hand just in case. Every once in a while, we might find ourselves somewhere weird. We have to get a hold of our doctor. We have to call a medicine into a pharmacy or something like that. And I don't want you to be caught without that contact information. So number one, keep that list on a piece of paper in your survival kit. Number two is to keep an up-to-date list of all your medications. Write down the name of the medication, the dose and the schedule you take it and keep that with you. You never know when you're gonna need this information to be handy. And it's nice to have it in your survival kit. Number three in the MS survival kit is backup medicines. When you prepare to go, I encourage you to bring extra symptomatic medicines that you need for that day. If you found yourself away from home uh, extra hours, longer than you anticipated, or even overnight, I want you to have all of your medicines with you. And I would encourage you to take an extra bladder pill along with you, maybe an extra uh, baclofen for spasms, or modafinil for your energy. Whatever symptomatic medicines you're on, make sure you have a day's worth of it and maybe a day extra. And that way there's no surprises and you're ready. Number four are instant cold packs. You can pick these up at most pharmacies or at most grocery stores. I'm talking about these little plastic uh, baggies that have chemicals inside and you break them open and they get really, really cold. Put a couple in your bag and when you find yourself overheating, bust one open, smash it up and get it cold, hold it on your head, hold it on the back of your neck, put it under your armpits and let your body cool down. This is a great life hack and something that I would pack in my MS survival kit. Number five, pack an extra pair of underwear. We don't wanna be caught in a bad situation where we soiled ourselves and we're not sure what to do. Avoid the problem. Pack an extra set of underpants, put them in a Ziploc baggie. And that way, if you end up having an accident, not only do you have a fresh set to put on, but you can put the soiled ones away, zip it shut, take it home and wash them later. That's right. Number five is to pack extra undies in your MS survival kit. Number six, a thermos of ice cold water. I'm amazed today at these new metal thermoses that will literally keep liquids cold for a day or more. Pick one up at the store and fill it full of ice water. Bring it with you in your survival kit. And that way you can hydrate and you can cool your body from the inside no matter where you are. Number seven, pack a few healthy snacks. I'm talking about one of these all natural power bars or some fresh fruit. Throw it in your bag with you and don't be caught with low blood sugar out and about. Bring some healthy snacks with you in your MS survival kit. Number eight is your smartphone and a charger. Now, I don't want you to bring this only so that you can talk on the phone, but I also want you to have it with you for a couple other reasons. Use the alarms. Before you leave for the day, set alarms to remind you when you need to take your, your medicines, morning, afternoon, evening. Think about it. Many of us remember to take our medicines because we have the same daily schedule. Here, you're about to go on a day-long outing, out doing something different, and you won't have those normal reminders. So use your smartphone to remind you. I also encourage you to have an app such as Uber or Lyft. That way, if you're caught somewhere far away and you're not sure how you're gonna get back, you can phone a friend and you can get a Lyft. Number eight is to use your smartphone. Number nine is for people with MS who have difficulties with ambulation. If you sometimes use a cane, I would encourage you to pick up a lightweight foldable cane. 
These can be fantastic. They're not very heavy and you can throw them in a tote bag. And that way, if you find yourself in an environment where you have to do way more walking than you anticipated, you can get that cane out and you can support yourself and help yourself walk more safely without concern of falling. Consider bringing a foldable cane if you have walking problems and you're spending a day away from home. Similarly, for people that require self-catheterization, make sure that you pack a couple extra catheters in your survival kit. That way you're not caught off guard. And number 11, the last item to pack in your MS survival kit is hand sanitizer. Nice to have around when you don't know what kind of environment you're gonna be in. And there you have it. 11 items to pack in an MS survival kit when you're gonna spend a day outing away from home. These were things shared with me by people with MS and I'm excited to share them with you. I also would love to hear from you and things that you've discovered that work well. So please consider leaving them in the comments down below so that everyone can learn from each other. Once again, thank you for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I hope that you like this video and if you'd like to see others like it, please take a moment and subscribe to the channel. Until my next video, take care.